Good morning, everybody. I, I speak all over this country and I do this for a living, but I can't tell you how much that this opportunity it means to me, and I'm, I'm tremendously uh, nervous right now. Uh, I wish I could follow in Tyler's footsteps, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. This, this is a, a award that was dedicated for the uh, outstanding uh, individuals for the National Indian Basketball Invitational. Uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of Native American youth that uh, Coach Homer Atha recruited from, and many of our athletes that played here came from the Navi tournament that's held in July uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. But they dedicated the the, the uh, outstanding uh, player award. Uh, it's now the Phil Homer. Maratha Outstanding Player Award for Pride, Honor, and Tradition. So they gave that to uh, forever for on behalf of Coach Maratha. <laughs> Coach Chuck Wynn and his wife Terry took care of one of the greatest coaches in the history of mankind right to the day he died. And he was, uh, for those of you who don't know Homer, Phil Homaratha, he was an icon. He's one of the greatest individuals, one of the greatest coaches uh, ever. And I just wanted to just do that real quickly. And I, I quickly want to acknowledge, I saw him walk into the room here, so I'd be yield for just a second. Uh, uh, Marcus Oliveira, did I see you walk in Haskell alumni? There he is, look way up there. Come on. Marcus Oliveira is a Haskell alum. He played basketball on the Oneida Nation court right here. He's one of us. He's a native person and he can fight. He's 25-0 as a professional fighter, 21 knockouts. He's the number... He's the number one rated light heavyweight in the world. Marcus Oliveira. Just amazing, just amazing. So I, I just, you know, I don't know where to start here, so I just want to thank everybody, President Redmond, the Haskell Board of Regents, the staff, the faculty, and all the parents and family and friends, and, and most importantly, the graduating class of Haskell. Um, so 30 years ago, almost to the day, that my wife and I uh, graduated Haskell, and it was over in the auditorium. It's one of the most special days of my life. And I don't know why I'm standing here shaking, because I do this for a living, but I'm nervous and I, I want to get it right and I want to just be able to acknowledge all of you. And so I guess, you know, probably the best way to do it is to move swiftly into this speech so I can get through. My wife has got a timer on me, I got another timer in the back, so, uh, but I got my glasses are kind of tinted, so if I can't see them, it's my fault. So, no, I can see my wife. <laughs> Her, her green eyes turn to red if I get out of line, so I want to acknowledge the uh, Kansas tribes and uh, Chairman Steve Gadu for allowing me to be a part of uh, uh, yesterday's event where the state of Kansas signed into law the Native American Day on, uh, and the legislative uh, uh, opportunities for tribes to be acknowledged by right here in Kansas. And I told them that Kansas has really, really grown and uh, the Native American tribes here in Kansas are, uh, are uh, uh, very prominent in the state capital throughout the state. Thank you for your leadership, uh, uh, Chairman Cadu and the rest of the tribes here. This is the law right here, signed it yesterday by, by Governor Brownback. My, my daughter works for Mr. Howe, so um, she told me to say that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was there, and, and I was there. Uh, it's not too often you get the chairman of the National Indian Gaming Association and the president of the National Congress of American Indians, and we stood with the tribes in Canada. It was a great honor to be there. Um, I, I just also want to acknowledge my friend real quickly. Uh, me and my wife, we barely made it here at Haskell. We barely walked that stage. We had nothing, little and nothing. And, and this lady here, uh, she was the only one of our crew that worked. And she's worked for the uh, uh, health center for 25 years. Could I acknowledge you, Steve? I mean, uh, uh, Steve and Anita Daney. Anita's here, and they took care of us. They fed us, they helped. Could you stand and be recognized, Anita? My wife's going to give her that Pendleton blanket while we get to get started. Anita fed fed my family. Anita took us to to the to the doctor. She uh, took us to a lot of different things. She looked out for us. She didn't even know who we were, and, uh, and she knows now because we didn't go away. Fed us once, as Indians don't go away. <laughs> 
So let me start this speech. This university was established 117 years ago with a handful of students as an institute. It was first known as the United States Indian Industrial Training School during a dark period in our nation's history. Boarding schools from that era were under a policy of religious suppression with the purpose of separating tribal, culture, community, and tradition. I put that mildly because we know the history, but today is a day of celebration and today a, victo a day of victory because we've made it through that very tough era. And we made it through, and, and I, I just want to acknowledge that, that I wanted to dedicate this speech to my grandmother. My grandmother is a shining example because uh, today she still speaks. She's a lefty. They try to make her not left handed too. She's still left handed. She's still very vocal, still very, very strong. I'll tell you more about my grandmother as we go. I'm so excited to be a Haskell grad. I'm so excited to be a, a part of what you guys have 30 years to this, to the, almost to the day I walk the stage. And I'm just, I just so, so pumped up. I'll tell you a couple of memories and then I'll wind down the speech here. I think I got uh, five minutes. I'm not looking over there because she's going to go like this. So, but I'll tell you about Billy Mills. Anybody know who Billy Mills is? Billy Mills is one of the most, the best motivational speakers in this whole world. He ran one of the most significant races. To this day, he ran one of the most significant races. He won one of the most significant races in world history. He is Haskell. He's res just like the rest of us. He came here and he was the best, the best in history. That's Billy Mills. One of my, and you know what he told me? I'm going to share that with you. He told me I, I was like 30 years old and I, he was my dad's friend, so I kind of knew him and I told him, I said, I'm so excited to meet you, sir. I want to do what you're doing. I want to be able to trick, make people excited when I talk just like you. And he said, you know what? He said, I wish I had what you had. He said, I wish I was young. I wish I had my life in front of me. I wish I could have the opportunity to do what you're going to do. So I share Billy's comments with all of you. The whole life's in front of you guys. You got this degree, so go out and enjoy it. Um, and then my other friend, uh, Chairman Gruby from Agua Caliente, he's uh, the chairman at, at, in the uh, tribe right there in uh, uh, Palm Springs. He is my colleague on the N7 board, and he wore number 55 on Haskell's football field. He's an amazing man. And then uh, look at any country today. There's a there's a blurb. I invited my friend Jossie Ross. He couldn't make it, but he's a he's a, a, a lawyer. He has his own law firm in Seattle. He came here to play basketball. He had nothing. And now he has a firm in Wash I mean in uh, Seattle, Washington. Burton Warrington, I don't know, is Burton here any place? Burton Warrington? There he is right here. Stand up, Burton. That's my boy. I adopted him when his great father passed away, and uh, I watched him play with my son here on this floor here, and I, uh, I spoke for him when he, uh, well, I watched him go off to the training school in New Mexico, and uh, I spoke for him when he graduated from Kansas uh, uh, Law School, and uh, my wife and I went to Topeka to watch him get sworn into the state bar. Anybody tells you that Indian country education isn't the best, these guys, all these folks went from kindergarten all the way through, and that's what I mean. We stand with Harvard, anybody else because Indian education is the best. These guys prove it, and you prove it. A couple memories. I'm watching my timers here. Okay, a couple memories. My kids. Uh, I already told you about the, the uh, Brandon memories. I don't think he wants me to tell anymore. Uh, that's good. For, uh, I'm good. Okay. Uh, Brandon's my oldest son, and he's a great athlete, and uh, uh, he has a... Uh, uh, a degree from United Tribes Tech from right here at Haskell and he has a Master's of Business Administration. I'm very proud of my son. Um, let me see. Ernest Stevens III is not here. He has an associate degree in media arts and he has a degree from University of Wisconsin in media and film. But he is also, anybody saw the movie Crooked Arrows? The lacrosse movie? Because my son is a co-producer of that movie. He learned his film study right here at Haskell. My, my daughter, uh, Margaret, 
She's a, uh, uh, she led, uh, many of you may have been a part of this when we went downtown and we did the Columbus Day, anti-Columbus Day, we protested against Columbus Day and we went downtown and I'm an old school activist myself but I was relegated to following all these Haskell students taking issue with Columbus Day. I, ha I was dressed in black but I was pushing my granddaughter, that's as uh, militant as I was getting that day, right downtown in Lawrence, Kansas. So it was amazing though but Margaret is a Haskell student, she uh, was a first name basis with the police down there because it was a civil organized uh, protest and the police and we're calling Margaret by her first name. I was real proud of that. Margaret's a strong advocate for our sacred sites and our traditional lands here in the Haskell campus. And she, thank you. Her grandmother, her great grandmother, my grandmother, is a testament, living witness to that sacred land back there. She'll tell you about it if you come to the United Nation nursing home. <laughs> And my daughter Maria. Maria's here. Maria's on crutches because she likes to play basketball too. But uh, could you stand and be recognized, Maria? I got a book to show you. This is an article here that was done by Say Magazine when uh, the Haskell team went to the went to the national championships. And this is now there's a couple of folks from the NA, uh, from the uh, JUCO era that may have issue with this, and and we acknowledge that because we acknowledge that that Homer had a great June junior college team here. But this here is NAI Division II, and they went to the national championships. And uh, probably my most significant moment uh, is not so much there was watching my daughter and take her two little babies to receive her all conference trophies. Uh, as a um, uh, two-time All-American NEI Division II. But I think probably the most significant that, uh, of that is that my daughter holds the, uh, the uh, 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 rebound, our uh, scoring and rebounding records right here at Haskell Indian Nations University. So. And my baby, Lois Lorraine's over there, and uh, she is currently a grad student at uh, Kansas University, and she is a two-time academic All-American in basketball. She was all-conference last year, and uh, I think, I don't know if anybody's got issue with this, I think she was one of Homer's favorites. So, I think she was Homer's baby. That doesn't mean anything, because I've seen Homer have to yell at your mom, too, so it doesn't keep him from yelling at you. But uh, Homer after told me once, he said that, he said that uh, Lois is brilliant. So I went home that night and I said to Lois, I mean, I said to my wife, is Lois smart? And my wife almost cracked me upside the head and she said, uh, the, um, uh, Lois is a salutatorian and uh, a very brilliant young lady. So, okay, so I, I've got to wind down this speech I'm being told. So I still got about 20 pages, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> In conclusion, how's that? Does that get you guys? Give me a break here for a second. Uh, I'll tell you about Grandma. I'm going to close with uh, um, about Grandma. My grandmother went to school here. She went to five boarding schools. And when it was all done, you know, she said that she didn't want to say anything bad. They tried to get her to say bad about the boarding schools. And Grandma wouldn't say nothing bad about the boarding school. She said it's, it's an era where we, we've moved on and we've healed and we must move forward. That was Grandma's exact words in an interview last summer. And then she said, she said this too was crazy. She said, and I play basketball at Haskell. So. She called me when I was at the homecoming once and she said, why don't you take me with you? It was 2006, they were rededicating the arch. I said, I don't, I don't know, Grandma, I didn't know you wanted to go. I mean, she's like 97 years old. I didn't know she wanted to go. And she said, well, I was there when that man kicked the football. And I said, what man, Grandma? You know? And we talked a little bit and I said goodbye and I told my son after that and he kind of looked at me somewhat disgusted. And he said, he said uh, uh, Dad, she's talking about Jim Thorpe. My grandma watched Jim Thorpe kick the football. So, In closing, I want to dedicate my energy here to my wife who worked hard at everything she's ever done. She is the, sorry folks, but she is the number one favorite Haskell athlete all time. And, and I just want to say that, it, it, that I want to just close with a quote from Barack Obama. And then I'll... It's, Barack Obama told Ohio State University that we are blessed to live in the greatest nation on earth, but we can always be greater. We can always aspire to something more. 
That doesn't depend on who you elect. It depends on you as citizens, how big you want us to be, and how badly you want to see the changes for the better. These words ring true for the Ohio State graduate, and in fact, they are more relevant to you. You are not only citizens of the United States, you are citizens in the future of any country. So I close with the uh, Obama quote, and I, and I just want to give you that encouragement to walk in confidence. And I'm, I'm going to go with Tyler. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Crew, but walk slow, enjoy the moment. Pimp stroll, slide across, that's all you want to do. Enjoy the moment. <laughs>